Uh, it was just a very scary incident, you know, we sit in this bar or we sit around this uh, Dizengoff street on a daily basis, so uh, uh, very shocking for in Tel Aviv. Like, uh, unfortunately it's happening all around Israel for the past few weeks and in general, but in Tel Aviv it didn't happen for years and for us it's really shocking that it happened right next to our apartment. So uh, I was about 50, 150, 200 meters in a bar next door. Uh, we were sitting, I just went out with a friend for a casual drink and we heard gunshots in the back. So we are automatically, we're used to it, things happen like this here in Israel unfortunately once in a while. So we started seeing everybody run and get into a panic. We went inside the bar, tried to help people uh, get into the bar as well. I grabbed the knife and I joined a few friends, few people with guns on them, that civilians that carry a weapon, and we went to look for the terrorists. At a certain point, I realized that I'm with a knife, and so I will be a liability. So I turned back, went back into the bar. And it's, it's a dreadful thing. I mean, it's a... Uh, it's something that repeats itself every now and then. And we here in Israel, we, I think that we are, as a, as a people, we are very strong and resilient. And so we keep our facade and we don't let things bring us down. And we, in two weeks, one week, you'll see everything is going to be full. And we're going to go back to normal and we're going to have fun. And we're not going to let some terrorists um, and this kind of hate affect us and change our life because we want to live, we worship living, we worship the joy and we want to continue and do that. תחושה קשה, כמו בכל המדינה, אנחנו פגועים ונפגעים מהפיגועים האלה, במיוחד מפני שהם גם משרתים קיצוניים ופוגעים בנו לקראת החגים. שכשאתה בא לבלות וליהנות מהחיים בצורה מפתיעה באים ויורים בך בצורה נפשעת, נוראית בל יתואר, בל יסלח ועם זאת עדיין אנחנו צריכים לחזק את הכוחות המתונים להעניש את הרוצחים, לרדוף אותם ולהחזיר את החיים למסלולם